So, hey guys, this morning I'm in the studio kind of early. Um, wanted to get in at Saturday, but wanted to get in to get a number of um, pages in my journal knocked out. And I have a collage that I'm working on, a few things I'm working on. So, I thought I'd start off by doing another one of my um, seg uh, page spreads in my journal here. And uh, I don't know, this like this page is pretty colorful. It's a lot going on. It did these tags, but for some reason, since I started this journal, this is pretty colorful. Like I've been in these really monotone type of mood for some reason. So I'm just going with the flow. I, it doesn't look very. Um, what do I want to say, colorful and bright for these, for the work I'm doing here, showing you guys uh, sort of the process of my journal, but it'll brighten up. I always seem to go through this. I can do a journal flip from the first half of this year, and it's the same way. Like, I'll go through stages where it's all sort of monotone, then it gets really bright, then it gets mon. So I just go with it. But it, I noticed when I looked at some of these videos, I thought, mm, kind of like, not exciting, but Sometimes the process of art is like this, right? You know, you just go with the flow and what you're feeling in the moments. And it really isn't about right or wrong or it's not what's best for marketing on YouTube, I guess. You know, you just have to hope that people relate to what you're doing and like your work and feel like they're getting some value out of you sharing. And, uh, you know, it's not always bright and pretty and cheery but anyway so I'm putting I'm working with these it's very thin kind of a tissue paper but it really is like paper that you use um, in uh, drafting it's like drafting paper really really thin and this time, even though yesterday I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to cut it so it doesn't go down in the gully, but this paper is really thin. So I'm going to work with it going across the page spread like this. But I'm going to put it on. Where is my trusty little bone folder? Here we are. This is very thin paper, so it's going to go down real nice and thin. And I like the, um, the color of it. I'm not sure, I didn't buy this recently, so I can't remember if it came this color or if um, it just kind of yellowed over time. It was, a, it was in my paper stash, so to be honest with you, I don't remember. But I like the color. So, hopefully, it um, comes like this. If you guys want to duplicate the sort of glassing, vintage sort of look. So, that went down really well. Nice and smooth. And I have these elements. These are some jelly prints that I did on... I don't want to put them. Jelly prints that I did on... This paper, it's actually like mulberry paper. You use it, you have Chinese calligraphy, it's used a lot. I actually got it in Chinatown when I was in San Francisco. And then I did these jelly prints on them, where I sort of just kind of wrote, made markings on the jelly print itself. On the jelly plate, I'm sorry, itself. Okay, so let me put the glue on the back of this. This paper tears very easily. It's very, very thin. But I like that quality. But you'll see when I put this other piece down that already sort of has a hole in it. It's going to glue kind of funny. But if it tears more, it's okay. It's just the process, right? Let's see what I come up with. So thin, even gluing it, it's sort of folded back on itself. So I'm going to put this here, and this piece tore a little bit. It's okay, but I'll just slow it down. Okay. 
Okay, so like this. I try to get all of the the part of the paper that's not going to tear the easiest first glued up, and then glue those last pieces. Because once it starts getting moist, paper even is more absorbent; it will tear more easily. Second, what I'm going to do is put this down where I want it. We have a lot of glue on it, and then just lift it up and glue these last areas here. Now let me see. I had a few of these elements. Out. Oh, I know. I had gotten this. Um, these two types of um, like with these. Oh, I know. I had this piece here too. Where is it? This is from an old piece of handmade paper that I had done, and I sort of tore off a piece of it. So I'm gonna put it on here. Real pretty paper. It's it's um. Mulberry and Kozo, you can see it on the back the uh, the fibers of the paper. I love handmade papers. I've made them for years now, so I use a lot of the pieces of my work. Okay. And now I'm going to so I'm going to put these. I'm going to put this in, but I also have this um, these two pieces of washi tape. Um, rolls of washi tape. One is ruler. I like this ruler look. I thought that was neat. And then this is also um, text, but it's on black. So I'm going to play around with it. All right, let's try this. And I'll mirror that on this side. There's some of this white space. I like this stuff. It's neat because it it's actually clear, so it picks up the white or the color that's underneath it. That's good. It's kind of cool. Let's see what this one is. A lot of times, like I said here again, when I'm doing my journaling, this art journal book, 365 Days in a Life of Journal, it's all about just putting ideas down, seeing what I like, you know, what works, what doesn't work, experimenting with um, ideas so that um, you know it'll it, it informs things that I may want to do in let's fold things over to what I want to do in a more serious project. So here again these are just about see that went along the bottom nicely. These are just about a lot of times ideas, just things that I want to try. Um, this is the washi tape that I made. using some of my own um, vintage papers that I um, another piece here you can see that it's of some old uh, Italian so I'm trying to get the angle right huh? ephemera that uh, I made using the score tape so I put this down and fill up some of these blank spaces 
So here again, it's just quick use of various papers, ideas. I like to do this really just to kind of get started when I come into the studio. It's really just like about just really warming up the engines, you know, figuring, let me try this and that. And, and a lot of times I like to, to work in page spreads because as a book artist, I really always think in terms of one page relating to the other. So my journal, I do a lot of that. So as you can see, use my jelly prints. I'll probably take one of my paint markers and I'll unify this a little bit by writing on here, doing some of my um, some of my free form text. I love these um, paint sticks. I use the gold, the black, and the white a lot. This painters. These are really neat. Although I, I think they kind of, to me, it seems like they, like they'll be doing really good, and then all of a sudden they seem like they just dry out. I think they dry out a little more quickly than I think they should. But so I fill it in with this text. I wish they had a little more life to them because they'll go real good and then all of a sudden they'll just kind of. So here I'm just unifying all of the space with this very quick, kind of call it light language. It's just about moving fast and putting my marks down. <clears throat> And I've, um, you see, I've done this on my work for years, 20 plus years I know I've worked in this way. I just like this element. I like using text anyway in my work. You've probably seen that by now with all the old ephemeral stuff that I use. And, um, and I like the fact that it has this sort of calligraphic look to it without being words. So it sort of just unified the spread here a bit. And just very quickly. So these are just quick exercises that I like to do when I first come into the studio to warm up, which is why I have this journal. And at the same time, I work through ideas. I work through color schemes. And then I can move on to some of the collage work that I have laid out or paintings or some encaustics. And these always seem to inform that work. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please um, continue to, to tune in. I'll continue to put up videos. And uh, also, uh, pop over to my blog, Your Creativity Coach by Robin McClendon .com. And if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, give me feedback, uh, let me know techniques that you may be, have been trying to figure out and not quite sure. And if I can help you out, I'll do a video on it. So appreciate your feedback and thank you so much. Take care. Have a lot of fun in the studio. Bye bye.